To you. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, work as a forensic accountant. Yeah. How grueling is that? Look, I, l l let me just first start and, and, and tell you guys um, I'm also known as Dumasani. Oh, really? Oh, your other name is okay. Dumasani. Yes, please. Oh. That's the name I prefer. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, Dumasani. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, to me. <laughs> okay, no, uh, seriously. So, 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 working as a forensic consultant, probably the most difficult job in the country. Um, I, can I can imagine, especially in South Africa, right? Yeah, in South Africa it's really tough. Um, I, I think, you know, what, one of the main kind of factors to talk about is... I'm a police officer, what more criminal scene? They contaminate the scene. They, they do, you know, you know, the reality is that we as forensic consultants, or when I was one, was that we would do all the hard work, we would get the report out, but it's pointless if nothing happens. Is this sort of um, that bad apple of fraud, embezzlement, that kind of thing, just as prevalent in the private sector? It is. It's very prevalent in the private sector. But, you know, it because it being private sector, pu public publicizing something like that, it just doesn't fare well for the private sector. So there's a lot of international foreign direct invest investment in, in the private sector. And it doesn't fare well for private sector to, to disclose um, those kind of elements in business. Um, they would lose investment, uh, negative effect on the economy. It just wouldn't work. Also got Lonza in studio with us. Matt Loma, you have a question for Dinesh. Hi, Dinesh. Hi. Um, my, my question to you is, you, you mentioned that the, the problem is not fixed. What exactly is the problem? So, s systematically, there's problems. Uh, l let me try and give you an example. Um, if we look at embezzlement, okay, how do people embezzle money? It's various ways. Let's just take employment as an example, ghost employees. Okay? Now, there isn't enough verification in the system to allow for the system not to have ghost employees. Now, if we continue without fixing the system, we'll continue to have ghost employees in the system. And as, as part of your job, do you uh, do you recommendations to the, the public and private sector as to, okay, this is where the leak is, fix this? Do you do, you do and that's And that's exactly what the forensic report is. So the forensic report, it, it provides findings, which is first telling you what has occurred, and then recommendations on how to fix it. But those recommendations are never implemented. Why did you want to get into accounting? I was supposed to be a pilot. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I was going to be a pilot. But uh, unfortunately, um, my, my, my parents, uh, they love uh, finance. Oh. And I, if you kind of go to my bio, you'll see I was diagnosed as an epileptic in 2000. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that, the benign tumor yeah. in your brain. Yeah. Was it ever removed or is it something that you've had to live with since? I've had to live with it since. But what's kind of amazing is that in March of this year, I kind of um, went through quite a serious uh, depressive state. And I had gone for tests. And unfortunately, well, fortunately, that tumor is no longer. Yeah!